The best meal is a free meal. And the best mana cost is no mana cost. Because today we're playing a deck where almost every card in the deck costs zero mana to cast. So the average mana cost of this deck, it says 0.8 here, but actually it's a little bit lower because you're never ever going to play the Blazing Root Walla. We're always going to madness it. So Hangerback Walker, Stone Cold Serpent, Ugin's Conrad, these all cost zero. Bonesaw, Misha's Bauble, Ornithopter cost zero. All the lands cost zero. Blazing Root Walla cost zero, but there are three cards in the deck which don't cost zero, and they're the most important cards. So of course we're playing Devilish Wallet again, because I wanted to try this out when everything costs zero, because I thought that would be a little bit better, potentially. So, the idea is of course, ideally, play Dark Ritual and Necropotence. Turn two, uh, or turn one still, we're either discarding a Root Walla with Madness, or we've already played an Ornithopter. Turn two, activate Phyrexian Tower, sacrifice the creature that we've got turn one, play Devilish Wallet, play five creatures for zero, and attack in for lethal damage. So exactly the same plan I know as yesterday, but just wanted to see. Is it better if I play like everything for zero? Is zero mana cost uh, OP? We'll see. Judge not a card by its effects. Judge it by its mana cost. And if it's zero... Oh, 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 is we're keeping. Now we have everything. Uh, I know we're doing a little bit of a repeat there with uh, what we did yesterday. Oh, by the way, should I even... Maybe I should go red? No, we need to play Necropotence. Ah, 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 we need to do this. <laughs> we need a red mana. We're gonna get the red mana. Thinking about things. Uh, I think we just go and draw a couple of cards here. Maybe a conservative... Since we can't play something for zero here, I think we'll just go down to... 10 or so. Just to check. Just to check a couple of cards. And maybe 8 is good, actually. Pass the turn, 8 cards, because we're gonna have to do the same thing next turn, essentially. Okay, Boonsaw, Boonsaw. A Boonsaw? <laughs> a Boonsaw? This got a 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. We don't need another one of those. And 5. Submit. Oh, by the way, we can actually. Oh, I should have gone uh, I should have gone off there. Since we have the Root Walla, we can play that with the Frexen Tower and... No, we can't because we don't have red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And exile, exile, exile. Great. Three root wallas. Turn one! Isn't that insane, sir? Isn't that insane? What a start! Look at this. Necropotence, triple root wallas. The wallas. <laughs> the wallas. <laughs> the wallas. The wallas. The root wallas. The root wallas. That's not a good song, you say. Well, you haven't heard the end of it. It gets better, it builds up, it's a little bit boring, you know, there are those songs which are yeah, a little bit mediocre there in the beginning, and then they ramp up, and then they reach the freaking climax, and it's just, oh, this song is so good, so good. <laughs> are you talking about songs? Yes, I am talking about songs. I'm not talking about the giggities. I'm talking about songs. A good song. A good song, an example of a good song which builds up like that. Ocean. By John Butler. John Butler? Is that his name? <laughs> Anyways. That song, it's fine in the beginning. It, it's not a bad song, you know, the opening the opening act of the song. Not too bad. But it builds. It builds everybody. And then, it's just, oh, by the end of it, it's so good. It's just, <laughs> there's so much guitar. I love it. Okay. Smack, smack, smack. We're gonna go. We're gonna draw a lot of cards. He skipped his first turn. I think yeah, I was either a little bit saddened by the situation or it's just disconnected. These are the two options I can see here. Uh, we might maybe have m 4 HP. I think 4 HP would be absolutely safe. Absolutely fa safe at 4. Okay. Necropotence. We have so much damage now. It's insane. We can just go for a normal land. We don't even need the tower. Uh, discord 5, discard you, discard you, discard you. Loink! That is an insane amount of damage. I know it wasn't really fair. We popped off turn 1. 
our opponent either wasn't there, or he was just very tilted by what happened. One or the other. But he's gonna get to see... <laughs> the climax. <laughs> Don't call it that, please, Chris. Uh, we'll call it... Uh, what's, what's it actually called? Um, not the melody, the... Uh, what's it called in music? <sighs> music. The chorus? Ah, but that's not really the, the correct word. The... Uh, crescendo? <laughs> no, that's not, that. that's not it either. I'm so bad at this uh, music lingo things. I don't know what things are called, really, but... But anyways. For the kind. Okay, my turn. Yeah, yeah, I know this was absolutely not a fair game. I know, I know. And, and now we can see it. Necropotence in the opening ad. I could not have asked for more. I mean, I could have. So I'm, I'm not gonna put it like that. So. Soul Scar Mage Prowess. Um, maybe I'll just draw some attention with this, and with this, and with this. And uh, check his top card. That's all we need. Honestly, I think you get a lot of free wins with Necropotence. We didn't play Necropotence there, but if you go off with Necropotence. Oh, by the way, <laughs> are we lucky or what? <laughs> Necropod is opening up every freaking game. Every game. Every game. Play this, play this. And now we just pop off uh, with everything we have here. It's just, now we just go down low, you know. Because we have everything. All we need is uh, the man, the myth, and the legion. That's all we need. So we're gonna draw down to... He's playing white also. I think we can go down to one. We'll go down to one. If he has a, the, a way of dealing one damage, he gets us. But I don't think he has it. I don't think he has it at all. Isn't this amazing, by the way? They can take up, like, five minutes. <laughs> your first turn. Because everything costs zero, and you have Necropotency, and we have no creature. Isn't very fun to play against, you say. Yes, but it is very fun to play. Okay. Four, three, two, go another one. We go another one. We go big. Go another one. Uh, his turn. Pass the turn. Uh, all right, we might uh, discard some cards here. Oh, we, we will get to choose the discard anyways. It doesn't matter. Wallet is there. Dark Rachel is there. Frexen Tower is there. Wow, no serum costing cards <laughs> except for the Ornithopter. Wow. Okay, okay, we got them now. We got them now. It's fine. Not a problem. Uh, let's see. Cards to keep. Everything for zero. One, two. Uh, you. Uh, definitely need a wallet also. Uh, that's only like four of them. Ooh, that's... Uh, that's bad, actually. That's only 16 damage. Uh, we can keep one more card. So we'll keep... Let's say the Dark Ritual. Yeah, why not? Why not, I say? Madness, Badoosh, play you. Madness, Badoosh, play you. Badunk, badunk, badunk. We need a zero costing card, actually. But we can maybe get it with the bauble. Possibly. Possibly, maybe. And. <laughs> <laughs> we played for two and a half minutes, and this is our first turn. <laughs> okay. Celestial Vault. Sure. Uh, yep. Uh, yep. Pass. <laughs> I'm sorry for putting a stop at your turn. That was actually not intentional at all. What are the other? Field of Celestial, okay. I see. Well, uh, my turn then. And draw an extra card, another Misha's Bauble. Phyrexian Tower. I think we even eat up the Ornithopter. Wait, why are we doing that? Are we, why not? <laughs> Play this. And... Uh, yeah, actually we should not have done that. When I think about it. Ah, anyways. Zero. Badoosh. So we're only dealing 18 damage. We could actually... Lose this. There's a chance. Badoosh. A douche, because we drew very few Serum costing cards there. 
No. And we'll also play the vicious Bowble. And we'll go in for only 18 damage. So, ah, that feels bad. We can also check your top card here. That makes it feel a little bit better. Seagate Restoration. Okay, end the turn. And that thing happened. An other Dark Ritual. He has a higher life total than we have, though. To be fair. But he needs a lot of blockers here. A lot of blockers. Got it. Please, wizards, never print Force of Will. And by the way, the Necropotence, what is fourth time in a row in the opening? We haven't even mulliganed a single time. Isn't that insane? Uh, we're definitely getting this. Definitely, definitely. And the planes, and an Esquire of the King. Uh, play you for one. Alright. Mishra's Bowl. Check his top card. What is your top card, sir? I'm very interested to know. Oh, it's a planes. Oh, how uh, interesting. Good. Now we have more information. Now we can make better decisions. Is maybe the idea behind the Mishra's Bowl in initially, but then it was very good because it got zero mana, so you can use it for a lot of things. So. I don't. I think it's rarely used for its original intent, the Mishra's Bowl. My opinion. Checking your opponent's top card, that is. It's mostly used to either draw cards with or get something down on the Nord, I think. Uh, here we're just gonna go and bash so we're gonna eat up you. Necropotence! And we are gonna need a cup. we can also play the Bonesaw. And put a stop here, <laughs> so we can use the Bowel. Uh, we can go down low, I think. He has a Lembas Bread and an Esquire of the... Esquire? Is that how it's pronounced? I think it's a... Esquire. Esqu Esquire. Esquire! I mean, it has to be French. Like, look at the spelling of this thing. If this is not a French word, I'll eat a Lembas Bread. I will. I will eat it. Looks delicious. It's more like a Lembas cookie, though. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be that guy, but I'm just gonna be that guy. I think we're fine going down to uh, and maybe four, because if he has a way of giving this flying or something, uh, you know, <laughs> then we're dead. So maybe we should try to avoid that scenario. Oh, oh, okay, that's not good. Oh, Lord! Oh, you said you want Necropotence, Chris? Uh, <laughs> it's all of them. Oh, that's horrible. Okay, well, well root to all. Uh... Wow, old lands? Oh, that was bad! That was really bad. Uh, we'll keep the wallet. Uh, we'll keep the wallet. Keep all three wallets. <laughs> and what else do we keep? Dark Ritual. Oh, we need the, the zero costing cards. Uh, I'm a little bit of a dingus. Zero, zero. Uh, let's see here. We can not need all the wallets. <laughs> I was just kidding there. Dark Ritual, thank you also. Vicious Bauble. And uh, was there anything else for zero? There wasn't, right? Zero. Uh, uh, okay, so we can keep uh, another devilish wall. That was horrible. That was absolutely horrible. We might get this off anyway, somehow, some way. But wow, that was for a deck with so many zero costing cards. There were surely very few zero costing cards there. Gotta say, not many. In amounts, they were not plentiful. Uh, in the slightest, actually. Oh, wait, wait, we should have done this now. Yeah, no Do it now. Take away the stop. <laughs> Again, we always spend like three minutes before they get their first turn. And it feels great. Absolutely great. And our entire life total also, in most cases. Jack Daniels. The Esquire. Oh! Targeting the root Wallace. Maybe. Maybe he's doing that, or maybe he's not doing that. He's either doing that, or he's not doing it. Destroy an artifact or enchantment! Maybe it keep... Oh, actually, it's good if it destroys the Necropotus. I'm actually fine with that. Because I'm draw a card. I mean, we're down to four anyways. We're not gonna draw that many cards. I think this is good for us <laughs> that we get an extra card here. Okay. And we draw a card. Oh, that's a zero costing. That's zero, but it's... Ooh, okay, I guess we have close to lethal here, right? 
three, we're also close to death. So we'll play the bone, so why not? Like this. It's really not enough, though. <laughs> and it's actually very far from enough. Okay, so that's eight. And the bauble. And checking his top card. And that's still a planes. And I mean, that's damage, but that's really bad. <laughs> yeah, we're really lucky that we draw the. Uh... Oh, he just scoops anyways! Got him. Necropotence. Fifth game in a row. Make it happen with my mind. Fifth game in a row. Necropotence! I did a little bit of a theater act there, and that universe is just not having it. Oh no. Oh no! Our luck might have ended there. Because I did such a big thing out of it. If I hadn't even mentioned it, I think we would have gotten there. Okay, there it is. Five cards. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, maybe not need double Necropotence. I mean, Ugin's Conjurant. I think we want to... No, no. Now we want to play the Ugin's Conjurant, right? For two. We play this tapped. Big Ugin's Conjurant moment next time we play it for freaking two. And it's just... Ugh! All power! Ooh! That's what it's doing. I'm gonna play it turn two. Oh, uh, please stop. Oh, Thoughtsies. We're done if you play a Thoughtsies, sir. Unless you play a Thoughtsies and take our Ugin's Conjurant. Then we're... Maybe. That's fine. That's fine. We can live with that. We can live with it. And bad badouche. Play you, play you, and you know what? We gotta, we gotta check your top card, sir. Not your top card. But say you win your. That's actually good for him. Because that can kill our necropotence. But that can also be good for us, since we're gonna use all our life points anyways. So? So, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. What happens if you use this effect? Whenever you discard a card, X. Oh, so if this dies. It doesn't get exiled from your graveyard. It's an interesting use case. We can maybe build another Necropotus deck around. A reanimation deck with Necropotus. Wouldn't that be amazing? So let's see. Two or fewer. Necropotus. Yeah. Wunderbar. As they say in Germany. And activate. He could now be say who shelters all. But on the other hand, that just helps us. That just makes us draw cards. Because we still get this, all these cards. Put them into... Yeah, yeah. No matter what it does here. Unless it's a split second card, right? Because that clears the stack, doesn't it? Is that how that works? Split second? Mm, I don't think they will ever implement split second on Arena. I would be surprised. I mean, maybe they will at some point. Seems a little bit complicated. There's two cards... Like... This is, okay, so all the split second cards, I don't think that they ever will be implemented in Arena. Another card, uh, there's a couple of them. Of course, Sharasad, or however, however that is uh, pronounced. I don't think that will ever get implemented. And I don't think they will Im ever implement the worm from... Not the original Ice Age, the, the second Ice Age. <laughs> the first time they revisited. Ice Age, when you had that worm which you could play from your library when you search a library. That seems also like a very complicated thing to implement. In many ways. Um, with the auto-tapping system and everything, I don't know. Maybe they will? But that uh, seems complicated. Necropotence though. Uh, if you go and destroy this now, we get them in the graveyard. Oh, by the way, are we only gonna draw lands now? No? Ugin's Conrad, that's good. You have some business. Oh, that's a lot of lands. Oh, that's... Oh, that's horrible. Oh, that's... That's not great. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> Are we gonna try to win with Hangerback Walker? Uh... Wow! Okay. Pass the turn, I guess. <laughs> that was bad. We've been really lucky with getting Necropotence, but we're, we've drawn, like... Uh, poopers, honestly. From the Necropotence. Somehow we still pulled out wins though. Of course, keep this, gonna 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 keep. This we're gonna keep. This we're gonna keep. Is that seven cards? 
Uh, oh wait, actually we could have kept... Yeah, I think we skipped that, take the... Ooh, yeah. Hmm. Hard to say. Sure. 77. Because now if we draw into the dude, we win, right? So, so that's good. Because we are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yes. So now if we draw the wallet, we win. Because it wasn't in the top half. Lizard snake involvement? It might have been. Might have been some lizard snakes involved in this. I'm not ruling it out, you know. Might very well have happened. The BK burger, though. Yeah, this is Boseyo. Is he gonna go for a kill on the Necropodness? It's kind of useless now that we've already drawn our cards, but... We'll see. We'll see what it does. Natural order! That's good. That's probably a win, because that's probably a haste creature, would be my guess. Be my guess? He could also go... That's gonna be interesting to see what he goes for. Oh, Galta. Oh, that's good. That's that's how we do it. That's really good. Bro. What? <laughs> what? Delighted halfling? Okay. Um. Yeah, this has trample. <laughs> can we block? Uh, I don't think we can block. Oh, no! We actually dying to that Galta. Good game, though. Hello, Daniel! And you are? It's -a me, the YouTube algorithm. And well, what are you doing here? I'm just here to take those views. No, the, those are my views. Oh, I can explain to you, Senor. You see, you have subs zero percent and non-subs a hundred percent. That's why you can take all your views. <laughs> I guess it's time that you uh, check out a little, little thing down there.